Hi guys, welcome to the Meta Business Analyst. This is Angelo here to talk about requirements management tools. As many of you already know, tools and software for business analysts is not always the top priority for most companies. Um, in most cases, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are really the only business analysis tools your company provides you along with that outdated requirements template. That's probably in Microsoft Word. Um, unfortunately, our jobs as business analysts can become complex, and when certain valuable aspects of our deliver deliverables become difficult, in most cases we elect not to do them, or we just don't do them very well, and nobody really ever blames you because they know it sucks. Most notably, uh, traceability. You know, when you're associating a bunch of stuff to a bunch of different, uh, different things, when you have to manually update every single place where that thing is there, it could be a huge pain in the butt. And if you're creative and smart, you could probably use the tools to, you know, make your job a little bit easier with some of the features, but for the most part, it's just difficult and a huge pain in the butt. Um, and so until Microsoft comes up with Microsoft Business Analysis to rival, you know, Microsoft Project for the project, man project managers, um, there are tools out there to to bring some sanity into your everyday life. So the first tool uh, I want to talk about is SharePoint. Now SharePoint is not a requirements management tool. It's a content management tool. However, it does, a, it does have a whole lot of very powerful web features that can make your job a whole lot easier. For example, if you've ever, if you have SharePoint, if your company has SharePoint, you've probably seen something called a list, which has all kinds of flexibility um, for you to manage stuff as well as um, this function called lookups which basically could function as like a dynamic traceability which is pretty freaking awesome um, on top of that you can you know add workflow in terms of notifications approvals collaboration um, way 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 back in the day when I first discovered SharePoint and realized that my company will not be providing me a tool anytime soon I customized um, a SharePoint side of my own and it was actually a huge huge benefit in terms of uh, what I was able to accomplish um, in terms of requirements management um, but that's not all there is out there SharePoint is kind of a generic tool that might your company might just have out there available for you to use but it's not a requirements management tool now if your company doesn't have the tool and maybe you're a contractor or a consultant who moves around a lot so you're not always with the with the same company, then maybe what you want is the kind of requirements management tool that really works well for the solo business analyst, the, the business analyst mercenaries out there. Um, and so far, the best that I've seen are requirements management tools from GatherSpace as well as Sparks. Now, Sparks does have enterprise level capabilities, but for just like 190, well, 200 bucks, basically, you can get a full requirements management tool just for you on your desktop. Um, you don't have to constantly have a subscription, blah blah blah, etc. and so forth. Um, but of course, because it's on your desktop, you don't get some of the awesome, you know, capabilities that you would get from it being online. Which is why, in that fight, I would go with GatherSpace. Um, it's probably one of the most affordable for a single business analyst and you can actually you know if you're using it your company's like wow that's really awesome like we need to get everybody up on that it's it's scalable like you could buy licenses for a much larger group um, and then everybody on your team can have it um, as long as you're willing to to be that first person to kind of you know put your money where your mouth is and get a tool now if your company is behind you um, and they're, they're ready to move up in the world of business analysis and requirements analysis then an enterprise-wide requirements management tool might be right for you um, these are obviously the most ideal because you know in most cases requirements aren't about just you and one other guy it's about several different functional areas all kinds of different people you need to get approvals you need to do all kinds of fancy stuff and if that's the case the two the top two for me are JAMA and Blueprint um, mostly because these tools are literally specifically built for um, requirements management 
and the companies, this is kind of all they do. There's a bunch of other stuff. I think IBM has uh, Doors, I think, and there's a Compa. And again, Spark Systems has a, a more um, comprehensive suite for enterprises. But these two companies focus solely on the business analyst role. So from a requirements management perspective, they definitely kick butt. Um, Blueprint um, would win in terms of modeling and um, creating like wireframes and walking through it different states. Um, whereas Gamma, I really liked. I really like their uh, traceability capabilities. Um, to me, that the way they visually display things looks better. But but I mean, it's just really a matter of you know what what your organization needs. Um, Blueprint, I think, is more expensive, but of course that depends entirely on what kind of negotiating folks you got at your company. Um, but at the end of the day, all of these tools um, really do one thing, and that's make your job easier. Um, in terms of those tedious things that take away from the real value that you um, bring as a business analyst, for example, being able to dig out requirements, being able to formulate relationships. You know, you have more time to do those types of things and spend, instead of spending hours or nights trying to make sure you trace all the requirements correctly, trying to keep track of approvals, trying to, you know, keep modifying and making changes to your requirements and making sure the changes are shared, you know, doing all that via email. Huge pain in the butt. These tools basically nip all that in the bud so you could focus on the real value you bring as an ind individual um, to your corporation or your company or whoever you're consulting for as a business analyst. For links to all the tools mentioned in the video as well as many 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 more um, check out the, the link in the video. Um, I'll include links to all the tools I mentioned as well as um, some extra information about some tools that I didn't mention. Um, so I hope you found that useful. If you have questions, let me know. If you know of tools that I didn't mention, please let me know. I'd love to check them out um, and maybe make a video about them in the future. All right. Thanks.